Welcome back to the After the Rain Knit Along. I'm your host, Jana, with Pearl Together. In this week's video, we're going to separate for the sleeves and begin the body of the sweater. So this is pretty exciting. It's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a turning point in the sweater. So you finished all the yoke increases this last week, and now we're going to just separate off the sleeve stitches, put those on waist yarn, and just start knitting the body round and round. Simple, right? Actually, it is easier than you think. Before we get started, I want to thank all of my patrons for your continued support. It's fantastic, and that's how these video tutorials keep coming to you each and every week, along with the fun podcasts and the other little projects that we do. So let me just say I'm headed out on vacation. When I get back, I'll set up the prize thread for the Ravelry. So please continue to post your work in progress photos on in the Ravelry group, the Facebook group. That's a lot of fun. And then also on Instagram. So put the hashtag after the rain sweater and also hashtag after the rain sweater K-A-L for knit along. Okay, let's get started. All right, here we are at the top of page six and I've followed the instructions again. I've cut both colors of my yarn. I have removed the marker, that red marker that I had right here. That was the left back raglan marker. So I have taken that off and now I'm ready to start doing the backwards loop cast on again. And these will be the under the arm sleeve stitches. But I'm gonna do that same backwards loop cast on that we did before where you put your finger there and turn it over and put that needle up on there and create those half hitches. So you're gonna use the chart or that table there to determine how many stitches you need to cast on onto the right hand needle. Okay, now I've knitted across the back stitches and I'm gonna take this marker off and then what I'm gonna do next is place all of the sleeve stitches on some waist yarn for knitting later. So I have for my size 80 stitches. And so in order to do that, I'm gonna go get some waist yarn that is about the right length and then a darning needle. Okay, I've got some pretty thick yarn here. It's just what I had handy. Um, I just like to use a contrasting color. And I'm gonna put all of these next 80 stitches onto this waist yarn. So just go in with the needle, the darning needle, as if to purl, and just slip them all on there. I just do a whole bunch at a time, and then I shuffle it down onto the waist yarn and just carry on. Just... Also, I should have mentioned earlier that you're gonna to wanna to double count. Uh, you know, just double check all your stitch counts for the sections that you have the back of the front and the two sleeves, and just make sure that everything's on track. You know, if it's not, don't panic. We can adjust. So I'll show you some little hints. If you're only one or two stitches off, don't feel like you need to rip back. It'll be okay. We can we can fix it. Now, if you're a whole lot off, then that's a different matter, and you're going to want to go and see if you missed some increases or did too many or what. But if it's only one or two on each side, we can kind of fudge that a little bit. Okay, now I've put all of my stitches on this waist yarn. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my darning needle through. Um, and I leave, you know, I leave a pretty good amount of tail because I kind of like to like tie my sleeve stitches together. I'll show you that in a moment. And I don't know, I just like to do that. I tie a little bow in my sleeve stitches. I'll show you that in just a moment. So I'm leaving five or six inches on the other side as well. I'm just cutting that off the ball that I had. Okay, so we've got all the stitches for the sleeves here on this waist yarn. I'm just gonna even them out a little bit. And I'm gonna pull them toward me because we're gonna kind of fold them over, you know, and make our sleeve, right? Let me back out a little here, zoom out so you can see. So this is gonna become the sleeve. And where we stop, stopped knitting the back stitches here, we're gonna cast on using the backwards loop cast on. We're gonna add a few more here according to what it, how many it tells you on chart A or on line A of the chart there. Okay, we're gonna take our marker off and then we're gonna do our backwards loop cast on and add however many you're supposed to depending on your size. All right, after you've done the backward cast on for your a number of stitches, whatever that is for you, then we're gonna place a marker and do the same thing again. So we're gonna end up having a marker in the center of the underarm stitches. So now go ahead and cast on however many that was again. Let me double check mine. Okay, one more. 
All right, now we're going to rejoin in the round and knit across the front stitches. Now we're going to do the same thing. I've knitted across the front stitches and come to my front raglan marker and I'm going to remove that marker and then transfer these sleeve stitches onto waist yarn as well. Same as we did before. So then we'll have both our left and right sleeves on waist yarn and then we can just knit the body round and round. All right, after you have put all your stitches on your waist yarn, I like to tie it in a little bow. It just keeps it together, it keeps the sleeve together, and I just like it. You don't have to, it's certainly not necessary. But now I'm gonna backwards cast on um, the same amount again, whatever that was for you. And then we're going to place our another marker here. And this is the center of the left underarm and also the new beginning of the round. So now you're just gonna continue to knit. Now when you first start knitting into these backwards cast on, they're a little loose and sloppy, so I just like to hang on to that tail until I get things established. So you just wanna be mindful of that. Things will loosen up a little bit. Um, so just hang on to the tail until you get going and you've done a few rounds and then it'll become more comfortable. So now you're just gonna continue knitting round and round on the body, maintaining your striping sequence whatever that is for you, whoops, there we go. And you're gonna knit approximately three inches. I hope you're finding these videos helpful. It's a lot of fun to knit a simple sweater. I think it's, I just love seeing the progress and the stripes make it seem like it goes faster to me, I don't know. You're like, just one more section, just one more section. Then before you know it, it's like one in the morning. Leave a comment down below what you're watching. If you're watching a show while you're knitting, let me know. I'm always up for a good recommendation for a show. I do not do horror. I will not be watching anything super scary because I'm a wuss. So be sure to show me your progress photos over in the Ravelry group. That's where we're hosting the knit along. You can post in the Pearl Together Facebook group if you like also. And don't forget those Instagram hashtags. All right. I will see you in two weeks. Knit the body of your sweater. That's going to take a little bit longer.